guys doing? So I'm coming to you guys with uh, basically some of the products that I had used um, with the uh, Curl K. Um, so I'm going to show you two of them. So the first product I'm going to show you is the Ori. Sorry, it's pronounced Ori. O-R-I, Ori. <laughs> um, moisturizing leave-in conditioner. So as I showed you guys before, it's very watery. I'll show you again. Okay. That's the consistency of it. Um, there is <clears throat> definitely coconut oil in there. There's coconut oil all up in here. Um, <laughs> it was to the point where actually I squeezed it into my hand and nothing was coming out, but a whole bunch of, um, of leave-in conditioner was inside there. But I had to press it so hard that almost all of it came out of the jar of the um, bottle because of the coconut, I guess, dried up by the nozzle. So it had really had dried up from that. But other than that, the product was amazing in my hair. I'm not going to lie about that at all. But what I'm going to do next is try this as a leave-in after my Love Naturals leave-in. I'm going to try this as a leave-in. It's very watery, so my hair loves water, of course, because... You know, that's the number one moisturizing product is water. So, my hair loved that. So, I don't know. I'm going to try that as that. And then I'm come back to you guys with um, a review on that. So, the next product I'm going to use, well, not use, but show you guys, is the Naturalista, Naturalista <laughs> Juicy Leave-In Conditioner. Okay? Alright, it says it's for moisture that lasts for days. So, um, and it says it repairs and hydrates dry, brittle hair. So, just speaking for my so, hair, uh, speaking for my hair, this product, the next day, um, made my hair really, really, really dry. Um, I had did, undid one of the twists out, one of the flat twists out, and my hair was just really frizzy. So I'm like, why is my hair so frizzy? So I just added some water and um, leave-in conditioner, another different type of leave-in conditioner. I was just like, oh no, I don't know, maybe if it's the, most likely be the ingredients in it. I'm not, I can't really, hold on, sorry, it's gonna, it's gonna fix. So that's, how you guys looking at it is exactly how it looks on here. So, I don't know, it, all I can, only word I can really, read out clearly is ingredients <laughs> so um yeah but the product smells so good oh my goodness like it smells like a cake icing like a Haitian cake icing but um I'll show you the consistency consistency again I can never say that word on camera okay so this product is more like whipped cream, but a little bit creamier than whipped cream. Would I buy this product again? No, I will refer it to other people because as I said, is my hair is completely different. I'm still learning my hair as well. Um, so yeah, no, I won't, I wouldn't buy this again. Well, I wouldn't buy it at all. So, uh. Yeah, it's fine with me. Some products work for me. Some products don't work for me. I can say that this one product worked for me as far as an add-on as a leave-in conditioner. Along with my other leave-in conditioner, this product worked for me. Made my hair just like coconut oil. So that's probably why it was an extra plus for me. At least that I'm still learning, you know, with my hair. So yeah, this product smells awesome. <sighs> it smells awesome. But it just really didn't work out for me and my hair. Maybe that it was such a small portion in here that I really couldn't put as much as I would like to put in my hair. Maybe that could have been another reason why. So maybe in the near future I will probably buy it. Um, but I'm the person as, listen, if I have found a product that works for me, I'm going to use that product. That's why I said I'm an undercover junkie, product junkie for now because I'm still learning my hair. So thank you guys for watching so much. Love you guys. Have a good night, a good day, good evening, all of that good stuff. Bye.